Hi, this is Excel Video 206. I'm Nate Moore. Today what we're going to do is play with a, fun a feature called Paste Special. And what I've done to our data from the last time is I've added a total column here and just simply summed columns B, C, and D to get the total for these three physicians for third quarter. And let's assume I want to chart this data. So I'm going to copy these formulas. I'm going to come down here and chart it. And I get this error message. And I said, well, what's that error message? And I come over here and I copy it and I put it over here. And I still get an error message. And see, the error message is I'm trying to sum from B11 to D11. What Excel did when I copied these formulas is it tried to copy, go over and sum the previous three columns. So it came here and said, go over and try to sum the previous three columns. Well, that's B, A, and Never Never Land. So that blew up. And this one tried to sum these three and it found reference. It got all these errors. The reason I got all those errors is because when I copied, I copied the formula. And that's the default way Excel works. When you copy a formula, it expects you want to copy the formula. If you want to copy these numbers rather than the formula underneath them, it's called values. What you want to do is copy and paste values. So if I do control C to copy here, underneath paste like we did last time, well let's let's come let's just come down here so we got a place to put it. Underneath paste is a whole bunch of options. If you're using a prior version of Excel and you need a 2010 this paste special link at the bottom will show you all the different things that some of these pictures can do. But they've replaced paste special with all these pictures in 2010. And the idea of paste special is I'm going to copy data and then I'm going to do something different with it than I usually would, than the normal default approach to Excel. So if we uh, kind of highlight through here, there's plain old paste. You can just paste the formulas, formulas with a, n a number formatting, keep the source formatting the way it was formatted in the copy rather than where it's going in the paste. You can get rid of borders, play with column widths. There's a bunch of things that you can do related to how the data is formatted when you copy. So if you copy it out of one format and you want to keep it in the same format when, when you paste it, you can do that. Or if you want to match the, the uh, destination formatting, you can do some of those kind of things. That's what a lot of these formatting kind of pictures are doing. But the one that's interesting to us right now is paste values. The main paste values one is here, paste values. These are, are just worried about formatting options. What paste values does is it says, okay, I'm not going to copy some B4 to D4 or whatever. I'm just going to paste the values. And see, when I come and look at this, this cell here, cell E4 says I'm going to sum B, C, and D4. This cell here just gives you the value of 105. That makes sense. When I'm, instead of copying the formula here, I'm taking the result of the formula, the value that the formula generates, and pasting it there. And the way I did it was copy and paste special values. So um, I better have a destination or I'm going to put it right on top of it. We'll come over here this time and paste values. That's what paste values does. Very, very handy formula. Because a lot of times you'll do something with the formula and you don't want the formula anymore. You want the answer to the formula and bring that someplace else so you can chart it or work with it or, or play with it or whatever. And that's how to do it. And again, because I've got the highlight there and I did paste values, I can just escape and get rid of that. The other thing I want to show you in Paste Special is this. If I've got data going uh, vertically and want it to go horizontally, or I want, I've got it horizontally and want it to go vertically, there is a feature, Control c right here called Transpose. And what Transpose does is make vertical data go horizontally and horizontal data go vertically. So, you know, with 4, it's not the end of the world. But if I had 400, this is a very helpful function. So let's do it. Let's assume that I want it down here. So I'm going to copy and come down here to cell A10, and I'm going to paste transpose, and see how now it used to be going in columns, now it's going in rows. And now what I can do is I can come over here and copy that. We'll come down here and transpose and send it back to rows. Easy way to get columns to rows and rows to columns. And again, if you had five of them, you could always cut and paste and move it around. If you've got 50 or 500, Boy, it's handy to be able to copy and then paste go in the other direction from vertical to horizontal and back. There are a variety of things in this paste special box. I thought about doing videos on each of them, but most of them are just formatting kind of things. You can do with how pictures are pasted, whether it's a link to the original source or whether you just take a copy of the picture and never look back to the original source. That's what this one does. There's a bunch of things in here, but the two big ones I use the most, primarily it's paste values. Far and away it's paste values to get the value of the formula instead of the formula when I paste. And the other one's transpose. Transpose is another time-saving feature that's in Paste Special. Those are the two things I wanted to show you about Paste Special. 
Stay tuned next time. There is a very cool little guy right here. He's called the Format Painter. We'll play with Format Painter next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.